What's going on, everybody? Zam Soul Wars Long, I'm a fighter Muhammad, the Jinn of the Razak. We're here at Wranglers Valley Judo, Kalu Judo Academy, feel it, here in Cary, North Carolina. Uh, I'm just now getting over uh, from being sick, really sick, same thing everyone's had. So uh, you can see all here a rasp in my voice. So I encourage everyone out there to really stay uh, healthy, stay safe, make sure you get that taken care of, and uh, you know, make sure that you're healthy to come train in the gym. Okay, this is just a uh, simple combination. Well, intermediate combination, I'd say, that you can use uh, to kind of just train your MMA game. Something fun for your students to do, blending really a lot of different styles of techniques in. Um, you're going to work a little boxing with this, a little kickboxing, some wrestling judo, and some MMA techniques to find out we work a submission at the end. So, um, it works great for us. It's a lot of fun, so I'd like to show you. Well, I'm going to swear it off, right? Okay, he's a southpaw. So I'm gonna throw a one one because I'm gonna get the overhook underhook on this side, this side, the overhook and the underhook on this side. Now, if he was orthodox, then I would throw a one two and then I would fish my overhook this way. But the south boss, I'm just gonna throw a jab, jab, and then overhook this side. So I'm here, jab, jab, on side, both. Now my overhook. Okay, from here, I want no space. It's MMA, right? Now, of course. It's you know, whatever, wrestling, I can lay out a little bit and look for you know, my shocks and stuff like that. But is it MMA? You know, you might punch me, right? So I'm here, and I want to throw a hard knee. I'm going to open this up, boom, all the way to here. And then close the knee here, right across the liver. Bow. Okay? Bow. I'm just going to throw one, though. So one more time. Even. Jab. Jab. Move right under. Boom. Now, I don't know why this is, and this is a uh, Adam Song secret. It's something that I've noticed since I've been, since I had my first MMA fight back in 99. Whenever I throw a hard knee, what does my opponent do? He throws one right back. I don't know why he always does. He's like, ah, oh, I got hit. I'm gonna, I can hit you back. So as he, as I throw it, I know he's done for. That's going to be my time to attack. Okay? From here, I'm going to hit him with a lateral throw. Although it's going to be more like a Yoko Otoshi from Judo, I'm not going to arch so much. I just want to pop my hips a little bit and turn. Okay? Here, jab, jab, go under, knee as it goes, and I go. Okay, from here, I have a good kusuri kisuri tummy. Okay, under hook in here, that's going to prevent him from punching me or, or guarding or wherever. I'm lifting up over on this side, so obviously he can't punch me either. Okay, from here, what do I do? I have a free hand, I can punch. I can punch. He's got to defend his head. That's all I'm looking for. From here, I'm going to take his arm, put it between my legs here, switch to a beat down position here. Here's my leg triangle, my hips are fat, you know, well. Now I'm still really cupping his arm to fit hard for him to breathe, right? Okay, from here, I can punch him, I can elbow him. But what I like to do is hammer fist from here in his ear, and that invites him to give me this. Final stage of the technique. I entangle the arm, and I finish, my booty go on me, my hair air going tap. So, trying to come by your gym today, make it work for you.